You like our voice? It turn you on? This ain't shit. Wait till you see it on Patreon. That's right. Our Patreon is so lit. We're going to have Harry After Dark, our Be For Reals on there. Make sure you tune in to subscribe. Please. We have our own Patreon group where you can come talk to us and tell us what you want to hear on our podcast. All that good stuff. Yo. And it's only $5 a month. $5 a month. Go ahead and come over, to the, the, come over to the Heroes and Hoochie side, yeah. okay? Come fuck with the winning team. I want well, this is what I gotta say about Beyonce at this point. Mm-hmm. Dennis, get the get the sensor ready. <laughs> Goddamn me! <laughs> Not get the sensor ready. <laughs> I'm playing. If y'all want, <laughs> I know y'all came to see. What they gonna say? Nothing. Go to the Patreon if you want to see a dead body. Yeah, for real. Shit, I ain't got. It. And you should have watched my page earlier. By the time you see this, but it's gonna be gone off my page. This is. Huh? The, it's been my mood all week, y'all. This been mine. <laughs> Day after day. <laughs> well, I gotta fix your mic before they talk about that, Chad. I'm sucking the dick. <laughs> My big golden hair ass. Hey, throat goddess. Hell yeah. What is it, 600 pound uh, uh, hamburger with from 600 pound? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> 600 pound. But all of them got niggas. All of them. Ain't nobody on that show single. Everybody got a caretaker. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody got a, uh, every one of them got a nigga giving them a, a little bed bag. Hell yeah. Oh, hold on. I forgot. I'm going to change my laugh. Because y- y'all keep talking about the laugh of both of us. <laughs> like, this ain't just our. So I'm, I'm going to change my laugh. Less hyena. Less, <laughs> less hyena. Okay. Uh, less golden haired, ample ass bitch. Okay. Okay. I don't know what else I'm going to add to that. But <laughs> how does the rest of your week been? Uh, this week's been good. Mm-hmm. This been, It's been good. Valentine's Day was yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, went and saw the Bob Marley movie. How was that? It was good. Uh-huh. The only thing, first of all, I ain't going to lie, y'all. A little backstory. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, I used to spend a little time in Jamaica. Uh-huh. And (laughs) 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 I used to spend a little time out there. And so the nigga playing Bob Marley looked like the nigga that I used to spend time with in Jamaica. (laughs) And so the whole time I'm in the movie and I'm like, ooh, it looked like blank. Low key sound like him too. Uh (laughs) So that's why I kept thinking the whole time. And I was just like, ooh, if your dude, he would have put your head between it. The cassava, what's up, uh, girl? What the what they eat in Jamaica? <laughs> the green, like the spinach stuff. Oh, uh, soft uh, ackee. Oh, yeah, yeah but he would have put, put your head between the ackee and the sawfish. <laughs> 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 the whole time, girl. I, the whole time, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> now she look like guilty, <laughs> <laughs> like that girl in court. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, the nigga, the nigga playing Bob Marley, he looks just like that nigga. The movie was good though. It was good, but it focused a lot more on um, his music career mm-hmm. and less of the family. Oh, okay. You know that mm-hmm. side. Mm-hmm. Um, they did hint at that white woman. Was that lady really white? The one he cheated with? Is she white though? Yes. White, white. Yes, that's why I'm like, uh, y'all, the math, Damian Marley, he got dreads. Don't get me wrong. Uh, he's 75 percent white bob marley's half white oh that's right bob marley is mixed yeah mix his mixed face autonomy there, <laughs> <laughs> there was one part of the movie i laughed i, I was the only person in the theater <laughs> it was he pulled out a picture of his daddy uh-huh. and daddy was on a horse uh-huh. and he was like me mother said we look like him uh-huh. <laughs> and i was in the movie ah! <laughs> A white man? <laughs> it's a white man on a fucking horse. I said, <laughs> and later I realized it was his daddy. I was like, <laughs> I said, no wonder nobody else was left. <laughs> I was like, damn. But I don't know why I always thought that Bob Marley got shot by his daddy. That's Marvin Gaye. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> so wrong M. <laughs> wrong M. <laughs> wrong M. Wrong nigga from the 70s. <laughs> no, my, I, yeah, I was like, 
We waiting for it? Yeah. I was like, oh, he gonna reconnect with his daddy. His daddy gonna shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> and then they showed his toe and getting cancer. And I was like. Wait, his toe? Girl, yes. He had a uh, toe cancer. He had like cancer. He had some sort of, some oh, form of melanoma. Knew? That's what he died from. Oh, really? Girl, his toe turned black. And they were like, we got best thing to do. The crazy thing is Bob Marley would still be here if he just amputated his toe. Damn. But he didn't. Uh-huh. Because Rastafari, you know, they're not supposed to take no part of their body off. Uh-huh. And so he left his toe. Uh-huh. And it ended up spreading to his whole body. Yikes. I don't know. Y'all be putting Bob Marley on too much of a pedestal for me. Um, You're not going to watch it? It's good. I didn't ruin it, if that's what anybody's thinking. I'm, I know how it ends. I think I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> uh, I just I hate when people just be posting all these Bob Marley quotes about, if you're not, a wicked, if you're not ready to wicken the love of a woman... Don't even stroke the flame or whatever the shit y'all be posting. That Bob Marley was this 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 amazing family man, and you know that he was just loyal to his woman. And I no, y'all can kill, y'all can kill me with all that shit. That's yeah. why I just I, he cool, but it ain't just ever something I just wonder. Oh, I got to go see it. No, it w- it was good. I mean, mm-hmm. when you do the math, mm-hmm. for him to have had twelve children by the time he was thirty six, he died at thirty six. Mm-hmm. He's on some NBA young boy type shit. Yeah, but y'all don't want to call him not toxic. Y'all don't want to call him toxic. The math is like mapping. I mean, in in the movie, his wife was like, "Me take care of all your your bastard kids." I'm like, (laughs) (laughs) gosh. But that was also, you know, back then it was real common for a nigga to go have a baby on you. Mm -hmm. You know, I do. There is a a woman on TikTok I enjoy watching. She tells like the story of black people and their black love story and stuff like Mm -hmm. that. And basically, she was talking about you know the Bob Marley and uh, was it Rita Marley story, how they met and stuff like that, and how a majority of their marriage was spent apart from each other. Mm -hmm. Because I think she was, I don't know if in America or something like that, but a a majority of their marriage was spent apart from one another, and so or no, he was here and she was there and stuff like that. So. I was, I'm 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 okay on Mr. Marley. It was good. It was good. And you know, I'm a, I'm gonna tell you real quick why also too, because I I just feel like someone right, because you know Lauren got with Ziggy Marley. Uh huh. And ever since then, <laughs> ever since she got with one of them Marley and started having kids. Hey, I don't know. You got. I leave them alone. <sighs> Yeah, I leave them alone. I don't know. I don't know their beliefs and nothing like that. But I just feel like a lot of children is part of it, <laughs> and I'm okay on that. <laughs> I'm okay on all that. You can see getting nutted in. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> right after at six weeks, girl. Yeah, 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 Four yeah. Weeks. You got a pick me again. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> you give me belly. <laughs> That's what they be saying. I'm going to give you a belly. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm you. like, damn, you can't just say it. I'm going to get you pregnant. <laughs> I'm going to give you a belly? Damn. So we didn't even do our song yet. Oh, damn. We or, or and you didn't tell me how your week was. Shit. <laughs> Same. <Fuck it. laughs> it was great. It was good. Yeah, I bet. Um, you you want to go first? Okay, yeah, I'll go first. Okay. Okay. Come on, Trick. Come on, Trick. Mm-hmm. Here go Mr. Chocolate. I like the way you break it down. Whoa. Waddle, <laughs> stop you watching me. Blank, I'm liking this. Big old ass, you shaking, bitch. <laughs> what? Mr. Chocolate. Close your mouth and don't say shit. Is this the Yin Yang Twins? Mm-mm. Bend on over and hit a split. Work that pole and work it well. Stacks on deck, your ankle swell. What? <laughs> <laughs> Girl, let me touch you. I will Is never. Soldier Boy? No, I will never tell. Security guard, don't scare nobody. <laughs> Damn right, I touched that hoe. I don't know this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this. Girl, shake that laffy taffy. Soldier Boy. That laffy taffy. Oh, uh, D D four D four L. Oh, I would have never got that. <laughs> Shit, I would have never got that. I would, I'm gonna let all these little white kids missing. Girl. Excuse me. Are they all going into a vortex? Um, uh, you don't want to fuck up your panties. You better take them off. What? I'm gonna plug that pussy till I get you mo- moist. Well, not moist. I, okay, say so <laughs> I can't fuck you when you're dry because that shit turn me off. If I can smell it, then baby, 
I don't put it in my mouth. <laughs> wow. I want to suck on them titties because they look soft. And do me a favor and keep your legs uncrossed so I can lay on. So I, hold on. So I can lay on your dick out, boxers off, got you biting on your lip because you can't talk. And after I give you this dick, I bet I change your walk. And I, I don't know play what that your is. click, want you to pull out, get you wet first, then fuck you. No, I'm talking about, I, what the fuck? I don't know. Pussy stay wet. I can fuck you how I want to. But if I suck on this pussy, that will get you. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 I'm trying to do it, but I can't. Bro, I'm crying. I did not know Pla said all this stuff. Whoa, I thought the first part that's was some dirty ass shit. I should have known how dirty it was. Yo, Pla, that's a filthy ass nigga. Pla's a Kevin Gates. It should have been. <laughs> oh, what that mean? Come DM me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see something. I, well, just for experimental purposes. What you, what'd you ask to see from Pla's? I want to see if he really talking about what he talking about. Man, Kevin Gates. Ruined it for me. I think Plies might actually be with it though, because Kevin Gates. The thing is, Kevin Gates is just saying freaky shit <laughs> that don't make sense. Uh huh. Plies got a little bit more finesse to his. Finna play with that pussy till I get you moist. I can't fuck when you're on dry because the shit turn me off. Well, you could left that part out. <laughs> I was like, hey. I. It sounds like a, a Zane novel. Low key. It, it sounds similar to a Zane novel. Sister Soldier. Oh, fuck that goddamn demonic ass book. <laughs> that, that Sister Soldier part two where she is fucking that. <laughs> yeah, don't listen. The lady fucked the dog. And y'all come on my post trying to talk about it. It's symbolic. I don't give a she fuck. She fucked the dog? Yes. She she fucked the do- She was a dog and got fucked in the book by the owner. The dog. Girl. She came I, back as a dog? I tell you, it was the craziest water shit ever. Yes. Winter? Yes, Winter died and was, and hold on, she let Satan fuck her in the ass and she became a snake. Then she turned into a dog and let one of the demons fuck her. She said dog pussy hole on <laughs> clear as day. <laughs> like this shit is wild as fuck. And you kept reading? Fam, I, <laughs> you were one, invested. at one point I was like, I have to see how this ends. <laughs> Cause there is no there. I'm here now. I'm like so, so What the fuck is you on? The wildest shit ever. And it tied it up in the end, and it made somewhat of a sense. But I, you're never gonna be okay with dog fucking to me. Like you're never gonna write that in the story. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, bro, that's wild. It was wicked. It's wicked. So so the two. She too devout for me. The whole thing was about basically being a <laughs> being a Muslim. What? Listen. <laughs> listen and how all the other religions are wrong bruh how did we fucking get here why are you fucking this dog <laughs> why I'm concerned. why is anal turning you Has- to a snake <laughs> <laughs> and y'all still want it <laughs> Man, at one point she was like i don't know if i do this i'm gonna be a snake but i still want to feel how his dick feels inside i'm like wow has anybody wow. checked on sister soldier uh you could you could leave wherever she at. <laughs> you could leave wherever at I've never read nothing. It's crazy. Nah, she might that. need a welfare check, dog. Eh, somebody else got to do it. Was it DCF? What's it what's the services up there? Somebody else got to fucking was do it. it. Uh APS? Yeah. Adult Protective Hell Services. Yeah. It was the wildest shit. That's crazy, dog. Woo. Oh, hey best friend. <laughs> Ain't it a blessing? It is. You are listening to another episode of Hear You Podcast. This is Tam. And this is B. You ready to get started, bro? Let's go. Right, let's get it. Damn. Damn. All right, so let's go ahead and get started in this week with the shit show. All right. Uh, let's start off with, let's do, oh, shit. oh, 
Sorry, it was off. Oh, okay. I'm just <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's start off with let's do a hundred rounds. Okay. Um. Oh. Uh. Rap shit. <sighs> Canceled. Mm-hmm. Issa Rae. Chameleon. Oh. Uh. Mask. Rap shit is my show when i tell you that's one of the shows i really slept on it i've and i've been trying to i was trying to tell her and it started off slow so i will give that it started off slow but it is so good and the second season to me is a little bit better than the first oh yeah but you had to know you had to go through the first season to kind of know the second season and all that stuff but rap shit is so good that's one of the few shows that i make sure i tuned in every was it sunday Oh, you don't know. Yeah, I've been watch, I binge watched all of it after they said it was canceled. Yeah, I think they used to come on like every Sunday or I don't remember what day it was, but it was one the one show that I would make sure I always watched and tuned in because it was so good. Yeah, no, rap shit was really, really good. Mm-hmm. I really want to know the reasoning for canceling it. I honestly, I feel like it may not have had a lot of support behind it because I, I really didn't see a lot of people talking about rap shit. Yeah. Not like Lovecraft. Saying. You know, Lovecraft was one of them ones that came out of left field. You know, oh, everybody yeah, watched that. But I just don't, I didn't feel like a lot of people really watched rap shit like that. I feel like yeah. a lot of people were waiting for it to all drop. Oh, and, and then binge just it. binge it. Because mm-hmm. I heard several people say that, like, oh, I'm waiting for this end of the season to, you know. But it was so good. Rap shit is so good. Rap shit was so good. And what was the manager's name that they were working with? I, I want to call her Blue, but they want her I keep name. wanting to call her Blue, too. Because that's I'm thinking of uh, Eva's show. Uh, she was on, uh, she, her name was Blue. She was on uh, Bad Girls Club. I was talking about uh, Eva's bodyguard on All the King, All the Queen's Men is her name Blue. Oh. She kind of wanted uh, Fuck, I can't think of her name. Chas? I can't remember her Chastity. name. Chastity. Chastity. Did they call her oh. something else? Oh, oh, fuck, I can't think of the name. And then Pierre. Was the, uh, the no fuck? I can't think of the names. Yeah, I can't think no, of her mind. name. But it was I was just like, damn! Like she was really their manager. She was one of my favorite. She was one of my favorite too. And they was down. They was down there. bad for how they did her. Yeah, they were to just walk away and just be like, well, we're just gonna go with him because it's easier. And that nigga was definitely playing in y'all face. He wasn't even answering yeah. your phone calls. Didn't even get y'all no 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 nice room, girl. And meanwhile, she was breaking into cars and shit. Hell yeah, and, and pimping hoes <laughs> and killing people for y'all. It, it's crazy. Okay, so um, this week, actually, one of the stars mm-hmm. from Rap Shit, Chameleon, mm-hmm. she posted and she said, mental illness is real. For two months, this young lady has been harassing my phone, making threats, and posting my personal number online. What's even crazier is that this person is hungry for clout. For somebody say you hungry for clout? That's crazy. Whew. That's a little nuts. It's sad what people do in attempts to sell music and chase likes. I wish there was actually a legitimate explanation, but simply because a guy I wouldn't touch with a long-handled spoon (laughs) (laughs) keeps reposting my content on his page, and she's upset because she's in love with him. Rewind, me being generous, I invited a few fans from IG that have been supporting me to watch watch parties in L.A. for rap shit. Mm -hmm. Apparently the guy used to make it seem like it was more, and they are both in cahoots, Seeking clout and followers to sell their music. I hate that I'm even using my platform to post this, but maybe if y'all can go download their music, it'll stop. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? This lady pretends to be innocent online, but every day sending threats. She, she did it to Drake and a few others. Just receipts. So if it ever came to anything, y'all know why. They are both blocked from all social media, but still on fake pages. At this level of my career, I don't have time to crash out, especially whenever I have so much to lose. Mm. It's clear she doesn't. I'm actually proud of myself for not reacting. Since they want exposure, here you go. Johnny Blaze. My mouth dropped when I saw who it was. But real quick, Chastity was in Bad Girls. You said you that's where you knew her from? Yeah. She okay. was blue on Bad Girls Club. Oh. That's why I thought you said blue. Okay. I, that's where you, Okay. And her name was on oh, there was Duke. Duke. Yeah, they called her the Duke of Miami. The, yeah, she mm-hmm. had the tattoo. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Chastity was fine as fuck. Girl. Chastity was fine. Blue was as fine as, as fuck, fuck on, on Bad Girls Club. She I, had blue hair. I do not recall. Yeah, she was on Bad Girls Club. I had to go back and see the Bad Girls Club. She was fine back then. I, I used to be like, damn. 
Yeah, but no, Johnny Blaze being behind this was very surprising, but not because she's it, cuckoo. I'm not. Let me not say that. I'm, Sorry. I'm, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna not say crazy cuckoo, <laughs> but I knew because she, she is hungry for clout. And you know who she remind me of? Hmm. What's uh, Juicy Fruit? Oh man, I had to unfollow Juicy, but not as severe. Juicy Fruit did some wild shit. When Juicy Fruit says she died, and, and then it, posted from the hospital bed, yeah, and it had a mic in a booth. <laughs> <laughs> They thought they, they thought they counted me out. Like, <laughs> Them bitches want to kill me. <laughs> Hold on. No one said anything about that. Nobody said that. Nobody did that. And actually, get out of the bed. And, and the, next, the people discharged you five hours ago. If you don't get your ass out of this hospital, they fit across security you, on your You ass. want nothing but dehydrated. <laughs> they gave you an IV. Girl. Sick. No. I, but Johnny, I don't remember who it was. Maybe it was Nicki Minaj. Johnny Blaze was under somebody's comments begging and pleading so bad please let me on your live let me on your live. i sing i rap I, i'm a pastor i'm just like god damn she was just it says oh i can't remember who it was someone's like god damn here go come up here and say something then girl and then she sung it and they were like okay it was good and then you know they got her at the live again but when i saw that i was like oh she really really wants to make it oh girl she does i have seen dms from johnny blaze and that's why my reaction was the way that it was. I have seen her DMs. I have seen her in action mm -hmm. with my own eyes. Mm -hmm. And Johnny Blaze is somebody who will do anything. You remember when she went missing? You remember that? Girl, do I? Yes. They were like, we And that. made her own missing flyer. <laughs> and DM'd it to everybody to post. <laughs> Y'all... <laughs> if it's, I'm lying, I'm flying. It's 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 very serious. Cause she she showed how many times she called, girl. Her on messages numbers. for her to text at six thirty in the morning. Hey bitch. <laughs> hey bitch. Hey bitch. When I see you, I'm gonna cut your fucking throat, bitch. And then when you don't get a response at nine forty in the morning, you text, wake up, bitch. That's wild, bruh. That is to wild. wake up that angry, or maybe you didn't even go to sleep. Somebody like that don't sleep. No, literally, they don't sleep. They are to all send night shit like that sleep. at six thirty in the fucking morning, girl. And then to then to send that girl a gun with your tattooed hand. <laughs> Johnny sent a picture like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, somebody needs to check on her because. You said recently she was in an interview with Joe Budden, right? She was on Joe Budden this week. Mm -hmm. And this is how I know. For one, I think that Johnny Blaze, for one, I think she's a, man a master manipulator. Mm -hmm. So she sits down with Joe, and this is probably the shortest interview I've ever seen Joe do. Mm -hmm. And she's like, hey, y'all. And Joe's, Joe brought up the missing thing. And mm -hmm. she was like, I wasn't missing. Like, I just had to go get my mind right. Mm -hmm. You know, blah, blah, blah. It reminded me when Super went missing. You remember that? Mm-hmm. Is it Super Go Missing? Yeah, Super went missing. Oh, well, I remember she really like, y'all, I'm okay. Yeah. yeah after, but it yeah. was after like three days. <laughs> it went that long. <laughs> no, it was. Oh, it's been a long Girl, time. Girl, everybody was online. At, at, at hashtag search for Super. That was a <laughs> that was an era. Yeah, definitely. That was also the era that Super forgot. Uh-uh. We're not doing this this week. <laughs> Hell no. Nah, keep going. Go to the next one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Joe had asked her about her going missing. Mm -hmm. And she said, you know, I just need to go get my mind right. Mm -hmm. She started saying that she was on a bunch. Of, she said she was on taking everything under the sun. Mm -hmm. Like any kind of pill, any kind of drug. She was using all of it. And she was like, but you know, I went to therapy. She said she had got up to like 280 pounds. She lost 75 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, and she was like, but I'm great now. Like, I, this is the clearest my mind has ever been. Mm -hmm. She's brought up the dude mm -hmm. that Chameleon is saying, you know, she's ar trying to argue with her over. Mm -hmm. um, and she was like, her her song went viral. You know, mm -hmm. the one where she was switching the wigs? Mm -hmm. Which actually, it's a bop. Mm -hmm. And the sad thing is, is that Johnny Blaze is really talented. Mm -hmm. She's super talented. But even during the interview, she's like, I wrote for uh, Macy Gray. I wrote for Outkast. And I'm like, I'm like, she lying? <laughs> <laughs> the whole time I'm like 
You wrote for Outkast. I mean, just because you write for somebody don't mean they put it out or that they actually release songs. She said that uh, she said that there was some song that got released. She started naming all these really big people, and mm-hmm. I was just like, okay. Um, but yeah, she's like the clearest I've ever been. I wrote the song about him, mm-hmm. and we broke up. We were really toxic, but now we just have like a working relationship, mm-hmm. and it's no more confusion. And then this shit came out, mm-hmm. and I'm like, yeah, you know some. Honestly and truthfully, whatever Chameleon says she did, she did it. Hell yeah, she did that. She fucking shit. did it. She fucking. I I don't know. I just. I've looked at her differently for a long, long time now. Ever like I said, ever since I seen her begging on someone's live to 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 go, you know what? It was around that time all that Nikki stuff was like when girls were like, "Oh, Nikki, put me on your live or pick me oh, for your song." Oh yeah. What song was that? The one with, what's the one with the the bag with all the girls on there and everyone? Oh, um, super super freaky or yeah or it might have been super freaky or something yes like that. she was begging to get on nikki's live and i was like something just ain't like something just ain't right because she is very talented she's very t- and she, she can play was instruments on, everything yeah and then she came back and told her lies about about drake before well i don't she said it was a lie well she said it and then she said it wasn't a lie but she lied on several other people before and came back and said that it wasn't true um what else well, she was on some show she the problem is for one Johnny Blaze, she needs professional help. Mm-hmm. And like, not just, hey, you know, I talk to somebody once a week type mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. She needs, I, she might need to be hospitalized. I do think that something is going on up here. Mm-hmm. I think Johnny Blaze is somebody who doesn't know how to have control of her emotions. Mm-hmm. We've seen it too many times on the internet. Because mm-hmm. she will flash out in a heartbeat. Because even, there's one dude on uh, Joe's podcast, his name is Flip. Mm-hmm. Johnny says that she's known Flip since she was like 15. Oh, no, she says she's 18. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, magic number. Mm-hmm. Um, and Flip had said something, and she was like, Flip, why are you always messing with me? You bitch-ass motherfucking nigga. And I'm just like. Damn. Cleared him. And I was just like. I wonder about the episode. Like, I'm good, though. I wonder why the episode was so short. So I, I kind of feel like she probably begged and begged and begged yeah, and begged think to so. be on there. And they were like, I, I think they did her a favor. All right, I hear her. Come on. Shit. Yeah. Because Joe barely said anything. He mm-hmm. was just like, oh, okay. Well, single's doing good. And I feel like a, I feel like a lot of people have the the preconceived notion of her. Because some of the stuff I've heard, because I, I forget what, it, what show it was on, but she got in trouble for all that Drake shit she said and all that other shit mm-hmm. she said and saying that it wasn't true and stuff like that. So people really just don't want to fuck with her. She does a lot. That. It's a lot. It's giving, I don't want to say Azalea Banks, because <laughs> Azalea can be right sometimes, but it just it just gives like, she needs professional help, and she needs someone to step in for if she really hurt somebody. Yeah. Or get hurt very That's, seriously. And that, I think, is what my fear is. Mm-hmm. It's like, before she hurts somebody, because the truth is, it only takes a <laughs> second for shit to get out of hand. And commi- the way commit is like, um, if anything happens, I'm showing y'all. Girl, and that's scary. Hell yeah. Very scary. That's scary to even just be typing that shit out and then to hit post. Yeah. (laughs) Y'all. From what you shared with me about, I'm scared of crazy people. I'm scared of people who you will block and will still email you. Girl. In another kind of way. I'm scared. I'm scared. Girl. I'm a little terrified because people really be nuts. So for someone to be calling you and texting you from all these different fucking numbers girl it just it just gives very much i have nothing else to do with my time and i don't know about you but i feel like i need more time during the day so i'm not playing on nobody's phone with different numbers and shit and sending out different like that's a lot going that's a fucking lot i don't even want anybody around me that is willing to put that much energy Mm -mm. into getting a reaction out of me because that's really what it is Mm -hmm. she wants for you know somebody to go back and forth with her and then i had went to johnny's page and johnny had basically first she was like oh it's all a lie and then i saw johnny commenting on a post and she was like well she didn't tell y'all what she said to me <laughs> girl i went to her page to try to look first and she had like a hundred things on her story i was like i'm not gonna watch this girl yeah i'm not gonna watch this shit she something like like i told you bro i've seen johnny in action dog it's sad something is not it's 
The elevator don't go all the way up to the top. Mm-hmm. It's sad because she's incredibly talented. Very talented. Um, she plays instruments, sings, sings raps, all the, that. Incredibly talented, but do, doing this bullshit. Some people just don't know how to get out of their own way. Mm-hmm. They just don't know. So Facts. definitely prayers to Chameleon. Facts. Prayers to Johnny Blaze. Mm-hmm. And fuck that nigga. And yeah, I've heard it all be over a nigga. Cause a lot of confusion. And then you you bothering me oh, about a nigga, nigga I, I don't want, and I didn't fuck. But I don't want. Let's just like, don't matter if I fuck him, I don't want him. <laughs> like that is wild as shit to me, girl. Very very wicked behavior. Mm. Uh, let's go ahead and go on over to our next topic. All right. Uh, let's do a uh, hundred rounds. Okay. Suge Knight. Defro. <laughs> Tupac. Debo, car. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was probably insensitive. Didn't okay. he run somebody over? That's why he in jail. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah. Damn, he did. I don't think. Did you mean it like that? Where'd you get car from? Was it because no, of that? I was talking about that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did they die? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, because they were just injured very badly. Okay, so Suge Knight, he's currently in prison. Mm-hmm. Um, and he has been just letting some rounds off here lately. Mm-hmm. So Suge Knight actually claims that, uh, Diddy's former boss, Andre Harrell, mm-hmm. who has since passed away. Oh, damn. Yeah. Was in a secret affair with Russell Simmons. All right. <laughs> I thought it was going to go somewhere totally different. <laughs> Not had a secret affair with Russell. Girl. So apparently Suge Knight has a podcast. From jail? Yeah. Well, like we said earlier, anybody can have a podcast. <laughs> Any fucking y'all podcast. said it. <laughs> we just showing y'all it's true. Yeah, y'all said it. Yeah, you right. <laughs> All you need is a mic. <laughs> Fuck the couch. Facts. Facts. You don't even need to. You can couch. stand. Facts. You don't even need a mixer. <laughs> Shall you need a really? You, you need a mic and a voice. You, don't, you might not need a mic. You need a phone. Talk loud you enough. need a phone. <laughs> you need a recording device. Hell yeah, on the other <laughs> side. Hell yeah. Should make his call. And he over there. Press record. <laughs> All right, all you wet, all you bitch ass motherfuckers. All you wet booty motherfuckers. <laughs> Tighten up, cause I'm ha- I'm home. <laughs> That's wild, girl. And it very well might be how the episodes are recorded. You never know. You never know. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and he was saying that uh, <laughs> Diddy, of course, witnessed what was going on with Andre Harrell uh-huh. and Russell Simmons, uh-huh. and that's why Diddy went on to do a few things. Wait. <laughs> He saw them being lovers and decided to decided to have freak. That's where the freak offs came from. No, ain't no fucking way. He said Andre Harrell and Russell Simmons. Everybody knew. <laughs> they might not want to say it, but they know they was lovers. Oh. They participated in those type of things. Now, once again, a person has the right to be whatever they want to be, but own it. These men in the industry don't consider themselves gay. They consider themselves with women. Wait, they consider themselves messing with women, but they don't really like the women because they beat the shit out of them. Damn. And they just believe that they're having fun with each other. <laughs> Not having fun? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't oh, never. So that's what y'all thought? Yeah, this is a little fun. <laughs> so when you take Andre Harrell and Russell Simmons, Uptown, Def Jam, freaky shit. Mm. Puffy, get his intern stuff from Andre Harrell. You already know the you know the answer already. This started his journey. Puffy started some journeys. <laughs> it's really good. It's wait. It's not really good to name call, but it gotta stop. But so I don't get sued. I gotta use the word allegedly. <laughs> allegedly, wow. Uh-huh. Wow, we pazali. I mean, I'm be honest. I believe shoot. I believe Shug too. I, I I believe a nigga in prison well. who done killed and had killed multiple niggas. I don't know why. I just don't. I don't understand I mean, why Shug he ain't in, in jail for lying. And he ain't in jail because he's scared of niggas either. At all. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's one thing. Shug ain't scared of, scared of you niggas. So, like, I believe Shug wholeheartedly. I even believe Shug when he posted that picture talking about that Snoop's wife. And how wide didn't Oh, nigga. girl. I believe that as well. Girl, <laughs> I definitely believe that. And I'm, this is my thing. <laughs> to be cheating and take a photo uh-huh. is really crazy to me. To be cheating? To be cheating and, and photograph it. Man, I, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. At the height 
of all my shenanigans, me and this nigga was having photo shoots. We and this nigga would be at, at public places posing. Why? Who gonna, who gonna beat me up? <laughs> That's crazy. It's like, if, anybody, worry. if, anybody, if anybody found it, who gonna, who gonna beat me up? <laughs> I looked to see you try over this nigga. Bruh, there's no way that I would be in that public of a relationship. Girl, mm-hmm. a nigga couldn't even have a phone around me. Much less take a picture? Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. What? <laughs> nigga, I will break that shit. Nigga, you know I'm fucking married. Okay. <laughs> How the fuck? We, you think we gonna pose? Your nigga didn't know you married. Your nigga ain't been know you married. And see, I, if it's on some shit like that, I feel her. Like, I ain't got no shame. Fuck it. I'm so you saying if it's like a public open thing? I'm not saying if it's public or open, but if your nigga has notoriously been caught doing shit uh-huh. and had a baby on you, I'm not behind no veil of secrecy. If you see me with this nigga, you see me with him. Seeing me with him is one thing. Taking a picture with him if we is take a, another. If we take a picture and someone so happen to have it, oh, all okay. right. Nah. Because so you already it. know, th- this is my thing. Mm-hmm. Yes, don't get me wrong. <laughs> yes. Niggas, nigga can dog walk you, oh, yeah. drag you through the mud, take you across the train tracks, <laughs> let a train run over you twice. Hell yeah. Nigga can do all that. Mm-hmm. But the moment you give him something to fire back at you. Hell yeah. It, it eliminates it, all that. It eliminates everything. Yo, would 20 never, cheats is equal to your, his, yours at one. Exactly. And I would never, and then they, they'll say shit to you like, oh, well, you, you did were penetrated. It. And, you know, a woman's body is set up to be a receiver. Have you seen a video that nigga talking about how women are different than men as far as cheating? Uh-uh. Girl, hold on. He was like, see this glass? I could touch this glass twenty times with 20 different hands and it's clean. <laughs> but let me put my hand in here. <laughs> He's gonna put my hand in this glass three times and it's gonna be dirty. <laughs> He's gonna put my hand in this glass three times and it's gonna be dirty. <laughs> That's why y'all can't be out here doing what we do. That's nigga man. And I was like, if I was it a nigga, makes sense. if I was a nigga, I'd be like, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. As soon as you put your hand in there, it's dirty. Yeah, glow. <laughs> I was like, it makes sense. And but especially nigga logic. Hell yeah, but that's not, that's not nearly what that's, that means. That's not how it goes. <laughs> at all. That's, that's not how he it said, goes. He said, 24 people can touch the outside. This cover won't be dirty at all. Let 24 hands go in there. <laughs> you, won't even, you won't even want it. <laughs> Hell no, I want that water. I'm, yeah. You need to get the water to your dog. Yeah. <laughs> that's the type of shit that niggas think. Mm-hmm. So the minute, that's why I would never give a nigga the satisfaction. Of knowing. Of knowing, I would never give it to him. I don't give a fuck. No, he he could never be like, well, well, who is this tan? Well, especially if I'm gonna stay with him. But if I'm done, you can let the choppers ring. But I would say I learned my lesson a long time ago from trying to get on a niggas level. Uh-huh. Cause you will never be on equal playing field with a nigga Ever. when it comes to no doing what thing. he do. There's no such thing. He will gaslight you. He could ha- he could have coochie in his mouth, but he but this, this different though. Hell yeah! You a woman like it? If I, I I just missed you. I slept both of y'all. <laughs> oh, real hot and heavy. Stop fucking playing with me. Crying. I don't know. It's just a uh, the how, how did Suge um, how was how get out of finding out all this fucking tea? Girl, Suge was around for it. I'm saying the shit now. How you know boss lady was in Hawaii? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Suge probably been having them. He probably been having them pics. Ready to load it up. Yeah, mm-hmm. especially somebody like that. Mm-hmm. Like you probably got the clip, and you just ready. Like uh, I'm just waiting on mm-hmm. the right person to say the wrong thing. Hell yeah! And I'm on their ass. Somebody like Suge, I can definitely see him just having all this tea, all this information, mm-hmm. ready to just let it out. Well, I feel like he been said stuff about Diddy, but then no one ever just believed him. You know what? And what's really what's really scary to me. Mm-hmm. Is I think back and I'm like, damn, you know how many times we probably should have listened to somebody? I mean, but how do you how do you know who to listen to? But why didn't we li- like why didn't we listen to Kiki Palmer? Huh? I mean, she was talking about Trey Song. Oh. I believed her. I believed her too. But I'm just like, we believed her and then did what? I, I'm I'm gonna tell you this. I ain't played bottom up since. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that much. I ain't played it since. <laughs> it's Mr. Stick Girl. Honestly, I stopped fucking with Trey Songs like a long time ago. Me too, when he had the reality TV show. But the whole thing with Jacquees, 
and it's, that's I think that's the thing that be really be grinding my gears because how you gonna say this stuff and then y'all get into it now he a bitch ass rapist ass nigga, nigga and all this other stuff but he want was it not that before before he was your bro but now that big y'all bro. big yeah big bro but now that y'all falling out e now that y'all falling out <laughs> this nigga a rapist and everything else and yeah and he didn't take out your dress i would have never posted my dress Girl, I would have never posted my locks detached from my head. I would have never posted that either. I would have been looking to see if anybody in Dubai did reattachments. <laughs> and fly them out. Girl, immediately. Put them back in. What the pants on sale? Girl, he Is won't. he even falling? From up there now. Okay. It won't be tonight. <laughs> Shit, no, it's too much moving. Oh, they're moving back there. Yeah. Yeah, no, I just feel like we really should have listened to some folks, dog. We really, we mm-hmm. really should have listened. Mm-hmm. Not for real. It's Kiki, Kiki been trying to sit. You ain't trying to get to your hair so bad. Handsome. They are going to think. They was on my ass about my <laughs> wig last week. With you behind me, they really going to say something. I just want you to know that. They say shit about me. <laughs> it was on y'all, that fat ass. Like, like, I don't understand. Y'all on y'all, fat ass. I'm skinny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they say I do something that y'all don't do. Work out. Hell yeah, facts. I walk. <laughs> Something you two won't know nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Okay, so they uh this week for Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. Suge Knight posted some, you know, some pics of Tupac. He said, Happy Valentine's Day to all my female Tupac fans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Never before seen picture of Tupac taking a shower. This nigga said, hashtag Jada Smith. And I'm about to say. Oh damn! Oh, he look good though. Girl, it's Tupac. I was fuck? like, I was like, damn, Jada probably with her beat neck cat. <laughs> Jada probably. <laughs> <laughs> she over there beat neck cat like a flow seat mat, just going to fucking town. <laughs> or she probably telling Will, Will, put this picture up in your face. Hell yeah, she probably blew it out. <laughs> Have a cut, life size cut out. <laughs> Went straight to Walgreens. Hell yeah, and Will got to put his dick through it. <laughs> With, with his dick through a cutout is wild. <laughs> What's the type that might that might get down to get down? Though? <laughs> I say fuck it. <laughs> Bro, his dick through a cutout. Oh my gosh. Bro, I, not not tagging Jada. Girl, messy, messy, messy. I'm like, oh, I bet he got some tea. When you think about it, mm-hmm. I'm like, damn. Suge Knight probably does know a lot about Jada mm-hmm. and Tupac. Mm-hmm. He that's where all the tea at. He probably know a lot about Easy E too. Oh, like I've I've always and mm. and, and the straight of the Compton movie didn't know justice. I always <laughs> wonder how Easy E got HIV so fast and just took him down. And the baby mamas didn't have it. I'm like it's it's some it, he he made that a lot of fucking, but it's something y'all ain't telling us. You know, they said, like, I've heard uh, conspiracies that he got it from, like, a blood transfusion. Whatever it is. Some of y'all ain't telling us. Whatever it is, y'all not telling us something. And I know Suge knows. And you want Suge to let us know? Hell yeah. But I know. He, I feel like he's not going to do that. Nah. I don't think he will. Suge seems like the type that he going to get petty if you push him. Yeah. He's like he's loyal if you loyal to him. Yeah. Once you, once you stop with that loyalty shit. Then there's that street shit. And Hell we yeah. gotta just lay it all out there. And I'm just, I feel no, you are you gonna beat me up? This niggas <laughs> this niggas out still afraid of shoot. So Fact. I like, what are you gonna do? You gonna listen to his podcast? Oh, hell no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm not invested in No that. engagement for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm good on that. I, but I, much prayers and success to him and his endeavors because this podcast game is tough. So, but I know one thing they ain't over here calling him fat and bald headed. I know they're not doing that. Y'all only call women fat. Bald headed bitches. I know you ain't saying it to shoot. Y'all love big niggas, boy. Nobody yeah. says nothing about Rick Ross over there cross eyed eating uh, fucking hamburger helper. Someone is saying something. <laughs> this <laughs> Tia saying something. Yes, Yetis. But hell, even that's still in reference to the damn girl. She over there eating Yetis, <laughs> and you made us on that on that Yako. <laughs> <laughs> I I love the video where she was talking to Krishan uh-huh. when she was like, "All right, Krishan, we want to see milestones, bitch. <laughs> we want to see the baby crawl." Is he walking? Is he walking? Is he holding his head up? <laughs> she said, 
say we want milestones, bitch. And I, I mean, she's not wrong. She, she just loud. Yes, Tia, don't be is. long wrong. She just loud. It sound like Boosie. I love to say bitch, <laughs> cause she just built it out with such, <laughs> such gusto. You feel it from down here, her in the diaphragm when the bitch coming up. Girl, I love to say, get your big back ass up. <laughs> oh, I love how she talks so crazy to Rick Ross. Oh, girl, she talks to that nigga like a dog. Ain't, That's the wrong baby mama to have. That's the baby mama you gotta marry. Hell yeah. And I feel like, t- cause she's still in his life. I feel like T is the one where she could do all that stuff and he'll still be like, man, you you know I fucking love her. Right, you know and how T is. They fall out. Yep. But she the one that know all his personal stuff. Uh, where everything is she's she probably his emergency contact yeah, probably emergency contact know where everything is kept like uh, she probably the one even though they beefing or whatever else she probably wouldn't know that shit yeah and she'll be right back over there when they good again yep she will L- 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 get a little weird at hbcu chick yeah. cut the check <laughs> yeah, she bitch. Said, cut the check big yeah. back bitch and give my baby that car you said you're gonna give him <laughs> ho i love to your camp <laughs> you over there claiming you a nurse with that little CNA license. <laughs> and that bitch over here making some some yakos with some <laughs> your maters. They don't even eat your maters, bitch. <laughs> like how the way she can hear her own little language. Girl. Like, give it to her. The girl Tia is funny as fuck. Facts. But but like I said, nobody called Rick Ross fat a fat big hamburger he eating that yeah. whatever ass Ham, bitch. Hamburger nobody said ass nothing bitch. to him. Hell nah. Y'all left him alone. Left them the hell alone. And it's other fat podcasters that I know. Y'all don't ever say shit to them. They don't say anything to. It's only to big black women. It's, uh, they don't say nothing to big white women. Y'all hate. Y'all hate when we talk they about love them. Y'all hate when we talk about uh, that in our love life. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. can't have no fucking love life. God forbid that anybody love us. Anybody care about us? I said on my TikTok. I said I've been getting even at my heaviest. I was cracking niggas like knuckles. Please do not. Man, <laughs> please. <bruh. laughs> I know that's fucking right. Cracking niggas like knuckles. Please. I know that's fucking right. Don't ever misconstrue. Don't you ever get it this fucked This is no up. tax time shit, baby. It's just funny. It's just the double standards, the ex- everything else. Yeah, like the expectation is for women to look a certain way. And niggas, you can be whatever. You can be sloppy. You, be, you can be whatever as long as you got money. In fact, D-Lo. <laughs> that's y'all currency. Our currency is supposed to be our body. Not D-Lo. <laughs> Fam, his dick looked like exactly like I thought it would look. Yeah, he he didn't he never gave me. He big, never big gave energy. big. He give fat nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and he general consensus just like he breathe, he sound like he looked like he breathed hard. Hey, yeah, hard and heavy. Mm-hmm. You know, you know like he gonna dribble sweat on you ten seconds in. Like that's what I was expecting from him. Mm-hmm. Handsome, show it. <laughs> hey, handsome. All right, now, fam. <laughs> Ooh. All right, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's okay. I like the grandma. It's not, let him go. He aight. Girl, he is perfectly fine. He aight. <laughs> Don't start doing that shaking, that manipulation shit. That's a manipulative ass dog right huh? there. <laughs> that nigga is manipulative as fuck. Aight now. He gonna, he gonna inch his way. <laughs> Look at <laughs> <laughs> You can't help yourself, huh? Girl, he's gonna sink back over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> you just wait for me to say it. <laughs> Girl, not the stretch. Handsome is dramatic. Girl, dramatic as fuck. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh, okay. But uh, definitely <laughs> best of luck to mm-hmm. uh, Suge Knight. Yeah. And everybody that's a part of Death Row. And everybody incarcerated. <laughs> <laughs> Freedom, the freedom, innocent. Freedom minds dim. Freedom innocent. Freedom minds dim. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and go over to our last topic. All right. Uh, let's do a hundred rounds. Okay. The Super Bowl. Sixty-eight. Fifty-eight. Fifty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cowboys. Okay. Is it right? You're supposed to do one more. I said 59. Oh, okay. Oh, 50, um, 58. Hmm. Patrick Mahomes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so y'all know over the weekend, mm-hmm. Super Bowl happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Allergies. <laughs> Promise. 
no COVID. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so Super Bowl happened over the weekend. Mm-hmm. Of course, you either had people who were really excited about the game, mm-hmm. or you had people who were really excited about the Usher show. Mm-hmm. Me personally, I was excited about the game. Mm-hmm. I was really, really hoping that I was going to see Taylor Swift cry. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can we talk about that a little bit? Yeah. Because my homeboy is like, Taylor Swift has the potential to sway the election. Oh yeah, and I was like, "Have I, have I not noticed something? Like, mm-hmm. when is Taylor taking over every fucking thing? Like, am Girl. I just now noticing like her reach?" Then I start to say, "Like, she's well, I ain't gonna say that she's talented because we tried to come with a Taylor Swift song last time. Oh was that, yeah, was it on here? No, or we were in person. We were in person. That was on Sunday. Can you name another? Can you name a Taylor Swift song? No. Can you name a Taylor Swift course? Hell no. Oh, you don't know none of it. I don't know anything. Can you? Uh, I'm, and I and I tried. I think the song I did come with was Carrie Underwood. Or it was somebody else. Oh, it was Katy Perry. Katy Perry. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I don't. I, don't they hate each other? <laughs> I don't. Shit. Listen, I white on white crime. I that's a, just a dream. That's Katy Perry. Mm. I don't. I don't. I, I don't know that woman. And Ashley, them had a couple. No, was it no Ebony? Ashley and Ebony oh, both had a list. Whenever I said it, I was like, "Shit, don't nobody black, don't know black people know Taylor Swift song." They were like, "Well, I won't say that." And Ev- <laughs> Ashley was like, "Well, I know a couple." <laughs> <laughs> and then when she listened, I was like, "I don't know that shit." Yeah, I think she said Red. I'm like, I said, "Did she have an album name that?" I have no clue. <sighs> Couldn't tell you about her, but I, 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 she appeals to everyday goofy ass white women. She is very normal and i will say that i feel like that is like the big difference because you know she gets compared to beyonce a lot mm-hmm. i feel like that's the big difference between her and beyonce mm-hmm. taylor swift does seem more ex- i don't want to say accessible because that's not really the word mm-hmm. but more regular mm-hmm. beyonce feels like an anomaly yeah beyonce which is, which is like our queen beyonce is up here and mm-hmm. She feels perfect. She feels like she you can't touch her. You you ain't gonna get on Beyonce's level. You right. can't fuck with her. Right. But Taylor Swift, I honestly feel like you know, on a good day, I'm we might be toe to toe. You know what I'm saying? Like Girl, I don't feel like I'm, I'm just a regular. Yeah, I don't feel like I I can't not do anything that you know what I'm saying. Right. That Taylor Swift do, and I think she she shows herself in these moments. Yeah. Doing a, <laughs> like she show herself <laughs> doing that shit yeah and why people were like oh, that's me right they see themselves in taylor yeah, swift right like, there oh my god i would do the same thing yep. and um she's just a relatable yeah she's definitely way more relatable than beyonce white is. woman mm-hmm. and, that, and i don't know if that's the appeal or what but for i the, did hear that about the whole election thing for, too, all the, for all the black swifties out there tell us your favorite taylor swift song i guess yeah, I mean, I ain't gonna know it. <laughs> I ain't gonna fucking know it. Might but YouTube it, might not. I'll I'm, be I ain't gonna do that. You. I'll just take your word for it. Yeah, I might. I might go read a few. Li- nah, I'm lying. I'm gonna <laughs> I was gonna say, you ain't even gonna do that. No, I'm not. Yeah, no, she. I heard about the whole election thing and mm-hmm. them really trying to get her to say Endure who somebody. she was gonna be. Mm-hmm. But this is the thing, too. Since we're talking about the election, dog, y'all not tired of having old men in office what happened to having a 40 year old president mm-hmm. ain't 36 the age that you can start running for president i don't, i want to say 40 but i know you have to do some no nah, i think it's 36 i know you got to do some shit though i know you got to do some shit before you can become president man i don't think that's i don't even think that shit applies no more anybody could do it i i think anybody could do it but like can we can we not get somebody like younger? You know, like I was. It's probably a very terrible example, mm-hmm. but I was watching mm-hmm. the Vladimir Putin. Uh, oh <laughs> yes, it's pretty fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching the Vladimir Putin uh, interview uh-huh. with Tucker Carlson, uh-huh. and Vladimir Putin was in office whenever Clinton was in office, uh-huh. and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, okay, so Russia has had the same president or same ruler, whatever he is. Uh-huh. For all this time, and since Clinton, we've had Clinton, we had Bush, mm-hmm. we had Obama, we had Donald Trump, mm-hmm. and we had Biden. Mm-hmm. That's five people. I'm pretty sure I'm missing somebody. That's five people at least mm-hmm. that have different views and different opinions. Different policies, different parties. To shift this country in all sorts of ways. Mm-hmm. And meanwhile, this other country has had the same person. 
Yeah, I don't know if that's a, a great comparison, but I understand what you were. <laughs> I understand clearly what you were saying. But all I'm saying is yeah. like we have. But is there a difference between having Vladimir Putin in and a white person who was born before de- uh, desegregation? I, I'm not debating you with that. I just I I definitely feel like people are growing tired. But I feel like it's gonna it's gonna like it's gonna be another someone like Trump that gets elected again. Because he's speaking to the fact that everybody broke and inflation and all this other shit. Like, it's just it's just another rise for the white man to come up some more. I know one thing. I'm not voting for fucking Biden. They can get that shit the fuck out of here. So you going to vote for Trump again? So you going to vote for Trump? I'm not voting. Yeah. Before I vote for Trump, I won't vote. And it's probably the same thing. Well. But I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm tired mm-hmm. of just voting blindly just because. Y'all literally made us feel like, oh, get Biden in there. Shit, I got one of them fucking emails the other day. Tana, the average person, uh, donated $41.11 to Biden. Biden, let me tell you something. (laughs) If you can hear me. Mm -hmm. No, not if you hear me. If you can hear me. Mm -hmm. Nigga, eggs are fucking $5 a dozen. (laughs) Eggs are expensive You think I'm going to give you eight eight, eight dozen eggs? (laughs) (laughs) You you think I'm gonna give you that shit? Do you know people need gas money? Thanks. Do you know people need food? Mm-hmm. People need lights. Then there's rumors that y'all are pulling food stamps. That video of Tokyo Tony, you told me freaking out. <laughs> About the emergency stamp. But Tokyo Tony, she was funny as fuck, don't get me wrong. Uh-huh. But she made a very good point. She said, I told you bitches on welfare to get it together. Cause that shit ain't gonna be around forever. I'm not <laughs> voting blindly, dog. I'm you not doing would it. Would you vote independent? I, I'd vote independent if it makes sense. I just feel like I just want a young president. We've been trying to get Beto on up there for years and years. I just I just feel like we're in a between a rock and a hard place. Mm-hmm. I feel like back when our parents voted, it I ain't gonna say they ain't wanna lie to us blatantly, but I feel like the laws were a little bit easier then too. Yeah. Like we'll we'll I don't even know what the, I don't even know what laws y'all told us <laughs> back then, but it sounded good. None of this shit sound good that y'all telling us now. Like mm-hmm. y'all, none of this shit sounds okay. Everything sounds like a fucking lie. It sounds like something y'all can't do. Yeah, literally. It sounds like something that you. Biden, you literally ran with, oh, I'm gonna get rid of student loans. Mm-hmm. This generation can't afford to buy a house. Mm-hmm. They've got all these obstacles against them. I'm gonna assist. Da 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 da. Then it was like, oh, well, we'll forgive 10000 But before we forgive 10000 I need you to go through this obstacle course over here. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the obstacle, so uh, at the end of the course, then we have a ring of fire. Mm-hmm. And you've got to run through the ring of fire mm-hmm. with a... Uh, gasoline draws ga- on. Gasoline draws uh-huh. on. And then once you get out of there, we're going to lock you <laughs> in, a, in a cooler. <laughs> <laughs> And it's below negative in there. Mm-hmm. And then if you're able to get out of there. And it's just like, damn, all that for yeah. 10 grand? Hell yeah. And I got 160000 in student loan debt? Fact. Fuck it. Putting the firm like everything else. I mean, I, you'll get it one day. Some of it. I've been so I ain't paying that shit back. But it just <laughs> sounds like a bunch of shit that no one can. It seemed like a bunch of shit no one can help us with. Yeah, facts. Like it seemed like we just, y'all done gave us all these can student Can they loans. not help us? Or do you think we're past help? A little bit of both. Yeah. I think the help that they could give us would bankrupt and cripple our economy. So like before, they said, I'm going to keep the $500,000 <laughs> and let y'all continue the, the worldwide hunger. Hell yeah. Because I forgot, someone had comments on our thing too, like Elon went to the UN and asked them how much would it cost? Yep. And he wrote a check and they're like, no, we can't take that. So like we have the options to end world hunger and all the and other shit. And we're not doing it. So you can't tell me you don't have the money to do other shit. Yeah. Cause I mean, most of us got degrees and shit we ain't using no way. Cause y'all told us, y'all told us in order to be successful, you had to go we had to college. To, we had to go to college and graduate in four years. And it didn't matter if we didn't have it. And it didn't matter if we knew what the fuck we wanted to do or not. Hell yeah, just go. Just go. Just just go and sign. <laughs> just go and pay me back later. Hell yeah, don't That's worry what about y'all it. Said. Matter of fact, get get the max out. Yeah. Because you know you're going to, look, you ain't got no, you can't work. 
You, you ain't got no laptop. You want some bundles? You need some. You, I mean, you gotta go to class. You want a little weed, don't you? I mean, <laughs> you want you want you want to uh, you want you want to boss up your life? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you want to boss up your life? Get I, in with me. Okay. <laughs> you want to be on a fifty floor eating all the Get the max. You don't need your parents' signature, nothing like that. Yeah, Get for the real. max. We know you're 18 and you're not going to read all you're that. You're an adult. You're grown. So, but, no. but here goes 82 pages no, of terms and yeah, conditions. Matter of fact, here's a, here's a, here's a, here's a, sign this master promissory note saying that you read what you're signing. <laughs> First, before we could give it to you, sign this. And go get a notarized document and say that you know what you're signing. <laughs> And then come and come get in with me. Yep. And in order to accept, you've got to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Hell yeah. That's what you got to do. Pass all this tiny reading. All yeah. Of it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Pish posh. Yeah. You're going to give us your firstborn. Hell You're yeah. going to give us a kidney. You're going to give us we your need liver. It. Hell yeah. Yeah. Your eyes. We'll take those two. They're yeah, ours. <laughs> Can't find no bankruptcy, bitch, because we're going we gonna to file the bankruptcy Hell after yeah. that. Like, and we own you. Hell yeah. And you better, you better dance and shake it like I like. <laughs> <laughs> shake, shake that ass like I like, ho. And don't stop until I say. <laughs> Do something to make me feel, feel better. <laughs> you told us this, you told us the 18 year olds. Yeah. And we maxed that shit out. And we got those degrees that you told us that would make us these millions of dollars and get us out of debt and from our family. And and we're still I don't I wouldn't say I'm middle class because I looked at how much I made last year, but I'm like, I ain't no fucking way. Bruh. I said, did, <clears throat> am, I, am I on drugs? <laughs> did I snort this did I snort this money? Cause I ain't no fucking way. Girl. With what I made. That I am sitting here trying to figure out who gives the most money for <laughs> platelet donations. Girl. There's, there should be no way. Girl, I'm telling you. I had saw this like um, this like salary breakdown. Mm -hmm. And it was like 35000 to uh, like 60 mm -hmm. poor. <laughs> and then it was like 60 to 95 middle poor. And then they said <laughs> 95 to 130 upper poor and i was like upper poor, <laughs> <laughs> upper poor. and i'm like bro it's true like i think me you and dennis were having a conversation we were saying we know more people that make six figures now uh -huh. and it means nothing it means absolutely nothing, it means nothing. when you hear somebody say i make six figures i was like oh okay that's i mean which six hell yeah <laughs> like shit yeah me too and then I'm the poorest of the poor. Upper poor. One day the poorer will be poorer <laughs> than the poor. Like this shit is not funny. It's not. It's not funny. It's, it's not. not a fucking joke. It's like not. it's really serious. If we're being honest, I don't even know how what we got to to get to here. Oh yeah, we were talking about Taylor Swift and uh, her and the election. Oh, the Super Bowl. Yeah, so we we're talking about the Super Bowl. God damn. Um. Okay. So Super Bowl happened. Patrick Mahomes. They won. Mm -hmm. Um. Usher performed at the halftime show. We all watched it together. Mm -hmm. So what'd you think about the halftime show? I loved it. I loved it. What would you rate it? Oh, I'll give it a solid eight. Okay. Is it the best Super, Super Bowl show I've seen? No. Right. Was I thoroughly entertained the whole time I watched it? Yes. Did I know most of the songs while I watched it? Yes. Did I, did I turn my eyes away? I was, I was glued on. I was I was in there. Mm -hmm. So I felt like it was a very good performance. I don't find them niggas would be like, it's mid and... <laughs> I think my nigga embarrassed me talking about her savior. I'm like, why, why, why would you say that? Why would you say that? She wasn't that? even playing the guitar for real. And honestly, I thought it was North. <laughs> Not you thought North came out there. <laughs> it ain't too far off. Fuck like a couple said, I was like, damn, look at North. <laughs> North got big. <laughs> I, I saw her and said, look at Squeak, y'all. <laughs> I definitely didn't think Squeaked that. Squeak done grabbed that guitar. I forgot she was Squeak. <laughs> I, <didn't. laughs> I don't think I'll ever forget it now. I forgot that, but I'm like, oh. Oh, like Harpo. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Mary Agnes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I really enjoyed the halftime show. What did uh -huh. you, you think about it? I thought it was cool. Mm -hmm. Would I watch it again? Nah, probably not. Oh. I think my expectations were a little high, mm -hmm. but I will say it's a little unfair to compare the clips I was seeing from his residency, which is like a two, three hour residency mm -hmm. show to 13 minutes or whatever, 15 minutes, whatever it was mm -hmm. that he had. But I thought it was cool. Um, I did notice like it was hard to miss Alicia Keys and that nerd, that note. I said that nerd, <laughs> that nerd, <laughs> that note that she made. I was just like, mm -hmm. ooh. <laughs> 
Felicia, that ooh. I, I, the Nobody tweet, told you to warm up. The tweet, girl. They said <laughs> it's the the sins of that still that woman husband. <laughs> they say that every time Alicia performs, she'll never live that down. Because every time she performs, she do mm-hmm. have a little, you know. But she's thinking the mic was on. Yeah, the, the mic, mic was, was on for everybody. So I, I give people with the mic on grace because. You know she can't hit the note. You know, yeah, you know, she know, can sing. Yeah, you know, just don't know what your voice gonna do to you when you. And once she got warmed up, she was good. And they looked really cute together, girl. Like they looked really cute. And together. you know, of course, that caused a little frenzy online because Usher got behind Alicia. Now I ain't gonna lie, Alicia did blush. Yeah. Did she? She looked it. Or was that no makeup look? <laughs> girl, you know, as soon as she came out, I was like, I wonder yeah, she gonna have some makeup, makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. I see. You got a little lash and lip combo. Uh-huh. A little something. That's a little splicker you know, dash. A little razzle dazzle. Nothing crazy. Uh-huh. Um, but of course, a lot of people on the internet were like, "Oh, you know, Usher is so disrespectful. He doesn't care about people's marriages." They and both married. You want to say? I mean, you want to sound like they both married? Usher had been married for about two minutes. It don't fucking matter. They both like. You think it was like inappropriate? No, like y'all thinking my boo. If I don't, if I don't look at y'all. And, Cause first of all, Alicia just got over those gay. I ain't gonna say just. She been, she been married to Swiss Beats for a long time, yeah. and people still think she's a beard. Hell yeah. People th- still think Alicia Keys is. Uh, well, shit. I thought uh, Swiss was the beard. For her. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> they both. Beard. Alicia Keys has never given you like stud daddy vibes. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Well, that's what I meant. Like they they each other's covering. Each other protection. I don't know what you call it, but yeah, I that's what everybody was saying. I, I thought it was cute. I didn't think it was disrespectful. Um, I she didn't, did blush, but I mean, damn, what's wrong with what's your what's your woman blushing? Yeah, cause maybe because you ain't doing it, but I just, <laughs> well, do it, nigga. <laughs> well, like they're sweaty. Yeah, like Usher is back there, literally soaking, and he. If I was Alicia, I'd be like, get the fuck off me, Joe. Nah, she 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 leaned, she, into she leaned it. Now nah, she leaned. In. I thought it was cute. I thought it was cute too. She definitely did lean into it. And Alicia it. got body. Whew. And that, that's, that's that little it. red outfit. Fire. I still didn't check to see if it was on Fashion Nova yet. It might it might be a little, a little Alicia Satan costume. <laughs> <laughs> with with boots. Yeah. boots attached. Boots yeah, attached. Yeah. I I love I love that little section. I thought it was really cute. Yeah. I thought it was really cute. Yeah, the uh, my boo that was cute. Mm-hmm. Um, did notice that whenever Usher put those skates on, he slipped a little bit. Nigga, we in skates. <laughs> if so, we well, didn't have to. Did he trip off something or what? I didn't notice. I, I, no, he he like almost you know just mm-hmm. like he had to catch his balance mm-hmm. again. Uh, I didn't like the fact that he went through uh, whoever's legs. Whose legs was that? Did he Jermaine went under. Dupree? No, nah, I hope he ain't going to Jermaine Dupree's <laughs> leg. <laughs> nigga, what? The Bobby socks. I think I had on lace <laughs> Bobby socks. <laughs> Girl, when they called Jermaine Dupree boss, baby. <laughs> I didn't see <laughs> I did think JD was CeeLo at first. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and I was like, Usher and CeeLo. Oh, that's JD. <laughs> <laughs> I it was Boss somebody, Baby is crazy. It was somebody else, and I was like, oh, that's so, such and such. It was, so, I don't know who, because who else was up there? It was Ludacris. Jane yeah, Dupree. Ludacris came out. He didn't go under Ludacris legs. <laughs> Usher went underneath a nigga legs, and I was like, nah, Usher, y'all could have left that part out. And he slipped <laughs> shortly after going up underneath that nigga legs. He went underneath his legs on the skates. Oh, I think I vaguely remember that. I listen. It wasn't too much I didn't too much care for. Uh, I heard a lot of people say they didn't like the outfits or the costumes. Oh, yeah. I didn't like that glitter blue thing. I like the white ensemble. I, the white was nice. I really liked it. I like that he pulled out the old Usher chain. I thought that was cute. Yeah, I really liked it. Um, he, I don't... Well, you picked, too, the song. You said... Oh, yeah. The song. I'm two for two, yeah. Yeah. Every year she picked the right goddamn song. It's going to be in New Orleans next year. That's going to yeah, be a whole little vibe. That's definitely going to be a vibe. And... uh. Mardi Gras too, yeah. Like that's a whole ass vibe. But see, Mardi Gras, the dates be changing for Mardi Gras, but I'm really hoping it's going. I thought it was always the. Well, I guess it's, a, it's Fat Tuesday, but I yeah. always thought it was. I don't know. Cause Mardi Gras been in March before. Oh really? Uh huh. Huh. So Mardi Gras date changes. 
how but I'm it, hoping it'd be nice if it fell. Yeah. On the same. Because this weekend, it was the same weekend as Mardi Gras. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm excited to see who they're going to have perform next year. Mm-hmm. Like, I wonder if it's going to be like a New Orleans based mm-hmm. Wayne. Big they, they not been doing all that shit now. Jay's Jay, 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 in control. Yeah, of but it. he ain't, ain't finna see uh, this they on stage shaking their ass as part of the halftime show. They will put their <laughs> foot Bend it over, bend it over, bend it over. <laughs> <laughs> they will put their foot down so far. Hell, Jay Z got some pull, but he, I don't know if he got. Big Freedom may be a company, but it's not finna be a New Orleans bounce Super Bowl halftime show. Big Frida gonna be up there, pants unbuttoned and zipped. Yeah, with the belt. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love it. I, I would hope, but I just, I feel like it's something. The, co- the culture in New Orleans is just different. It's way different. Like, it's, it's way different. different. Mm-hmm. If you've never experienced it, you don't know what you're missing out on. What places do you think like have a totally just different culture, period? Mm. Like, it's like, you, you can't experience, like, you meet somebody you know where they from. New York. Mm-hmm. I feel like New York has its own culture. Mm-hmm. Of course, New Orleans. Mm-hmm. I feel like Miami even. Miami definitely has a culture. Yeah, I'm, I was gonna say Florida in general. Yeah, it has a specific Low key. culture. Low key. Um, I'm scared of Philly women. <laughs> Philly is a little rough. Philly, Baltimore. I, women in the North. I'm a little. I'm a little scared of. Yeah, because they just. Uh, I hung out recently, like when I was with the um, late night discord some mm-hmm. of the girls are northern they're just so aggressive in how they talk yeah and i think the men too they're just so aggressive there's no like it's not a bad thing and maybe they just get to the bullshit a lot right. faster but you know they not thank thank you no ma'am yes ma'am, excuse None of that. me move bitch the damn, fuck the fuck damn. you looking at stupid damn oh my god damn my bad excuse me hello Sorry. hello mrs my, my second grade teacher my facts bad. that's yeah. why they all come down here and they're like oh everybody's so nice i'm like no the fuck they not yeah, the just because no. everybody's hello yeah and greet you and smile oh and yeah because they're really just like why are you looking at me hell yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna get you nigga <laughs> you keep on looking at me too i'm gonna call the cops on you nigga <laughs> no i'm gonna get no, you i'm gonna get you <laughs> Please come get this jigaboo. <laughs> they think I'm nice, sir. <laughs> no, for real. They gonna get your ass. I'm like, yeah, no, everybody's not fucking nice down here. Yeah, the no. fuck? It's a it's a common misconception. But we do have, you know, there is such thing as like southern hospitality and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So, mm-hmm. oh, and I would definitely have to say another place with its own culture, L.A. You think so? Where Nipsey's from? What kind of culture? There's like a whole LA culture. But I'm saying like, what's the culture? I mean, the way that they dress, uh-huh. the way that they talk, uh-huh. the way they dance. Uh-huh. Uh, that's mainly it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I recently fell in love with this TikTok and it just shows the, um, what they call the, um, not the homies. Remember the homies? What they, yeah. call, what they call the girls? Oh, Cholas? Yeah, so it's the old, it's the Cholas. Like, they 40 years old, just dancing a, <laughs> oh, excuse me, they just, they, they just, just like this in a circle. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm having like, a good time. I don't know why. Send it so to me. Much. Yeah, I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to find it, but they just, ooh, hey. and I, in a circle, all night long. I was like, I fucking love it. With the dark uh, lip liner. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. I'm trying, yeah, I think that's, yeah. 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 That's, that's a There's pretty definitely good, a lot of it. It's a pretty good mix. So then also at the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. commercials is a thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Verizon commercial. Mm-hmm. I just want to say our Beyonce post was like a perfect storm of shit that just happened yeah, randomly. Yeah, the timing was really timing. Because we had no idea about the Super Bowl announcement. Well, I forgot when I posted it. We recorded it. that way before. Mm-hmm. It did get posted after the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. but... Yeah, we thought we were saying something different. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about the hair. We weren't talking nothing about the country. Yeah, we weren't like trying that. to say nothing about Beyonce. Mm-hmm. Um, so Beyonce had her Verizon commercial. And at the end of the commercial, I remember when we were all watching it. Mm-hmm. And in the commercial, Beyonce's like, fuck it. Drop the music. Because the commercial is about breaking the internet. Mm-hmm. I remember I said, yeah, I was like, breaking the music. Drop the music. Hell yeah. Immediately we went on Apple Music trying. I was like, is it, you know she's going to say that. She dropping something. Hell yeah. And Beyonce is not like Kanye and nobody else to have a release date and not release and it. And not release. When she said there's a release date, God it's damn coming. it. There's a, it's, our, it's already done. Mm-hmm. We just waiting to press, uh, hell yeah, press the button to stream it to everybody <laughs> else. It's already done. Apple Facts. Market Cut. Hit publish. <laughs> That's all they were missing. So Beyonce dropped two songs. 
Texas Hold'em mm-hmm. and 16 Carriages. Beyonce has decided to enter a new genre. Mm-hmm. She's releasing a uh, country album on March 29th. Ooh, y'all 16 go. carriages. <laughs> y'all gonna hate that. Because guess who is going to CMT next year and for, for shit sure will be performing something country. Hell yeah. For shit sure will be performing something country. Yeah. And I ain't gonna lie. The songs, the songs gonna not. They go hard. The songs, they go. I Beyonce listen to really them. don't, she don't be missing. So this is one thing I've seen from someone. They're talking about the three genres of music that black people have been kind of excluded from but helped start. So house, mm. country, the last act is probably rock. Rock. And I was like, you know what? If Beyonce releases a fucking rock album, dog. She's iconic. Like, who else can fucking... Beyonce don't sleep, bro. I'm like, because let me tell you something. If I would have done the damn Renaissance tour... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, y'all niggas wouldn't see me for about five years. No, hell no. And I hear there's another tour being geared up. Which oh, yeah. The, if she does a country, I'm going. You're going to go to the country tour? I'm going to go to the country one. Okay. I'm fucking here. Something about it is exciting to me. Mm-hmm. And, like, I'm not I'm not the hugest Beyonce fan or anything. Mm-hmm. But there's something about it that I'm just like, I know she's finna go off on this country album. She's done country before. Do you think that it's... Um, the fact that white people probably hate it. Um, I ain't gonna say that, that might that might turn you <laughs> on a little bit. A little bit of a <laughs> yeah. You know they hate this part. Hate yeah. This. I I think as someone who listen, I'm not gonna say now. Nah, I'm not gonna say I listen to all the country music and all this stuff. But I do. You know, being from Tennessee, mm-hmm. have an affinity for country music. So I do like Merle Haggard and all, I like I know the country names and stuff like that. Right. And black people know country music too. Country music ain't just synonymous with white people now we love to think that and they love to gatekeep it like it is but yeah, so i'm like i wonder when that switch happened from what um when they wanted to put white faces on black sounds they just took the black people's music yeah. and put a white person over it it wasn't mm-hmm. that hard to do and then you know you want to exclude someone you know being southern and white wasn't always it's almost seemed like a dumb thing yeah so i don't real. think it was that hard to exclude a whole gen- race from of people from music that they Created, yeah, you know what I'm real. saying. But I, I think I kind of like this rebellious spirit too of like everything you said that we can't do or we not. Because what's the, uh, Mariah the scientist was like, yeah, I don't make R and B. They just put me in this category. <laughs> <laughs> so what does she consider herself? I don't know, but it's like that. That's a good, a good topic. Because if it's bl- if you're black and it's about love, they automatically put you on R and B. Mm-hmm. No matter what it is, if it's slow, yeah, if it's slow and has a different type of hook and you singing on it, you're automatically put on R&B. R&B if you're black. And then even whenever they first released the two Beyonce songs, they released them under pop. Really? Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. And that. they forced them. They were like, "No, this is it's not country. pop. This is country." Yeah, categorize it correctly. Yeah, you know, like it. Even with categorizing music, it reminds me of like with Afrobeats, right? Mm-hmm. We all refer to it as Afrobeats. Mm-hmm. You know how many Afrobeat songs you pull up and the category says worldwide? Mm-hmm. And it's like, whoa, <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. But Afrobeats is, well, I guess I was going to say Afrobeats, they put um, Soka. Mm-hmm. Is, that, is that considered Afrobeats? No, uh-uh. but they but they put soca in Soka there. Soca is uh, like dance hall. They put dance hall on Afrobeats. They mm-hmm. anything that's not that's anything foreign, foreign with a different type of drum beat is Afrobeats. Yeah, and I'm just like, there are so many. There's different types of R and B. Excuse me. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> I was just beating our ass. Yeah, yeah. There's different types of country. Like there's different types of rap. There's different types of all these other different genres and. <clears throat> I just really like that. I feel like she's shaking some shit up. Yeah. That's all. I'm here for it. But I also don't like how y'all try to, ooh, K. Michelle, you've been trying to do this for a long time. What the fuck is that doing K. Michelle? Look, look, first of all, K. Michelle been releasing a country album for the last 10 years. There's nothing new. Second of all, Beyonce releasing a country album ha- shouldn't have any effect on K. Michelle releasing her country album. At all. Well, she if do anything, it before, you should after. help it. Matt- Whenever she decides to drop it. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> K. Michelle has a, a private um country page <laughs> that you only can be except is k is putting or something like that <laughs> for real i'm on a page but she only accepts certain people like you know a certain amount of people on there everybody can't don't get accepted to that page yeah and what's she posting on there music yeah country music mercy 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 country music <laughs> uh yeah that's what she posts mm-hmm. 
I'm like, here we go trying to pit two black women against each other yet again. Mm-hmm. God damn, y'all not tired? Let Rihanna. I said, I said, Let, Rihanna. Rihanna. Let Beyonce release her music in peace. Mm-hmm. And I'm also like, you know what? Everything is making sense now. Mm-hmm. All the cowboy hats. Mm-hmm. Beyonce has been dropping clues. Remember whenever she did that whole Ivy Park line mm-hmm. that was cowboy themed? Oh, I didn't think about that. But she that had ago, cha- it? it was a long time ago. She had chaps. Uh-huh. She had all sorts of shit that was all like country and Western themed. The Grammys outfit makes perfect sense. Percent. Some of y'all say, I actually love the Grammy I outfit. I liked it. Now, I liked the, um, the skirt better, better than, than the, the pants. pants. I loved it because she definitely channeled to me like Dolly Parton-ish yeah. type. Big gaudy. You gonna Makes know it's Louis Vuitton. That's why she went the different color with her hair too. I don't know, child, but I don't want to say nothing else about her hair. <laughs> <laughs> now she got PTSD. Uh, uh, not really, but I just like, I don't want nothing I say to get misconstrued. I don't give a fuck. Right. Because you can't beat me up. But it, like, <laughs> the fact that what we said just got like. Blown up. And y'all, how dare y'all tear down black women on Black History Month? Bro, I don't, look, I look you want to, good luck to that woman. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> For real, but I, I, I'm I'm with I'm you. I'm fucking with it though. I I fuck with it. I, I don't know. If, I don't know. I like shit being shook up. Uh-huh. Um, I like going against the grain. Uh-huh. I like doing something when people told you that you can't. Uh-huh. And I'm like, you know what? I said Jay Z was probably up there with that Grammy speech. Uh-huh. He said, "All right, so y'all wasn't gonna give it to her for uh, R and B. Uh-huh. You wasn't gonna give it to her." For dance hall or whatever, dance, yeah, uh-huh. whatever, house, eating house, yeah. whatever. All right, let me see what you're going to do with country. And you know what? If she fucking wins a Grammy for country album, that is really telling. That is really telling at some point. Because th- She, we talk she about, don't have a battle in the country department. Did we talk about it on the podcast, though? If, if what album we thought, or was it outside? Uh, I think it was outside. If there's an album that you feel Beyonce should have won a Grammy for, which one is it? I definitely said the self entitled Beyonce. Mm-hmm. I say Lemonade. Lemonade is just a. Lemonade's a classic. It's a classical piece of work from top to bottom. Yeah. I say uh, Beyonce because that's the first album of hers that just really broke the internet. Because mm-hmm. whenever Beyonce just randomly dropped that shit mm-hmm. and she dropped it with the, the music videos too, mm-hmm. bruh, everybody was up late at night, like yeah, yeah. partition. Hell yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. drunk in love, mm-hmm. all of that. Like, let's go, little kitty cat. He don't, don't want you anymore. Oh, y'all, that shit. <laughs> that shit. When she's like, got diamonds on my neck, got diamonds <laughs> on my neck. <laughs> yeah, the whole whole album jam. Yeah, and I really love. I really love Lemonade. I still listen to Lemonade to this day. I'm so Look glad. Go. I'm so glad they put it off. Of, uh, remember just on title. Oh yeah, I remember I'm that. so glad all the songs are now streaming. I mean, it's a great album, but um, was that it with the Grammys? Uh, I think that that was it. I think that's all the notes I had. We talked about Usher. Yeah, I can't think of, we talked I guess, about Alicia Keys. We talked about Beyonce. Uh-huh. That was the biggest thing. I uh-huh. was like, do you? There was some memes going around saying that. Beyonce proposed at Usher's wedding. Do you think <laughs> you think it was wrong for Beyonce to drop the music during the Super Bowl? Nah, cause it didn't. She did, but it it also it wasn't like a major. Like it would have been different to, if she. I don't know. I'm trying to remember if if her commercial was before or after the halftime show, cause that would make a difference. Too. I feel like it was before. I think so too. But even still. It didn't take anybody away from watching Usher. I, I, I still watch Usher. I did not watch Usher to listen right. to. I think I think we did. The have some shade came off when we turned off sixteen candles, sixteen carriages. Oh yeah, <laughs> something like that. But um, I get I could I could get why people would say that. Yeah, and then I guess where we were streaming, we didn't see it. But did you see the Kanye commercial? No. Kanye had a commercial. I, I heard him say something about a commercial. Oh, yeah. Kanye had a commercial mm-hmm. that he bought during the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. And it was literally him just on his iPhone. And he was like, hey, y'all. So the Super Bowl slot cost $7 million And we spent all the money. So we don't have no money to produce a commercial. So I'm going to just record this on my cell phone. And he was like, go to Yeezy.com. 
Oh, was that was a twenty dollar? Oh, was then? No, it was shortly after that. Then he did the twenty. Oh, uh, so what did he say? Go to Yeezy. Yeah, he was like, go to Yeezy dot com. Bye. Oh damn. <laughs> well, I got my twenty dollar pods. All, that's all I know. Girl, you ordered yours. You, did you get anything else? Because the the shirts, the the size three and size I toddler know. two and no, shirts, not and big stuff. bitch approved. Hell yeah, like I, I, yeah, I'm I, I'm okay. Because that wet t shirt gonna just be a t when it stretch across <laughs> my ass, and I'm not finna. Uh, uh-uh, it's okay. Y'all got it. Yeah. No, I definitely ordered my pods too. I'm excited to see if it actually comes. Yeah, because I saw people's orders are getting canceled. For real? Mm-hmm. I saw people's orders even getting canceled. So if I get mine, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. I think it's say like four to six weeks or some shit like that. Yeah. But that's all I have in this week with the shits, y'all. All right. And we're going to hurry up and do our um, uh, hear you, hear you. Get all the right. fuck up out of here. I'm a 40-year-old woman with a career with one adult son. Mm. The man I was dating for six years decided to have some fun outside of our relationship with the woman he recently met. I have some fun. She has eight kids. <gasps> he has two of his own. One was living with us. And now they're living with her. Is that something that men find attractive? Am I missing something here? Um, I'm going to say this. It kind of almost gives off, I ain't going to say hater vibes, mm-hmm. but kind of. Yeah, low key. A little bit. Because you think that because she got eight kids, you don't think she has fun? As- <laughs> she obviously <laughs> fun. But for a man to leave okay. his house with one kid. And, and like, go where, where there's eight. Eight of them. And, and probably going to be nine soon. He love it out there. <laughs> he love it outside. She got snacks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she Juice. Cooks. She funny. They always got some activity planned. Fine. I just really. She like fucking. Yeah. And it, it was the, the, the title was men. Would they the woman with eight kids? Yeah. Yeah, they are. <laughs> men are doing shit every day. I don't know why you're surprised by shit that a man would do. Yeah. Men have loads of fun with another nigga baby mama. <laughs> <laughs> They love their ass one of they love their own. Hell <laughs> yeah, face kids too. <laughs> yeah, and so I, I'm not saying you don't have a right to be upset or, or, a, or a right to be mad, but your energy should be focused on him, not the one with the eight kids. Yeah. Because it could be a, 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 a bitch. You know, she might not have had a, she might not have birthed them kids naturally. She had AC sections. Facts. What's her adopted? It's still, it's still a, a gorilla grip down there. <laughs> and you worried about the wrong fucking thing. What about that nigga? He don't have left you. She don't yeah. want She just got eight kids. Yeah, definitely don't displace the energy. Yeah, I mean, and tell my the men like this. Yours did. Facts. Loved it. <laughs> Moved. <laughs> Changed residence. Facts. Now again, there you do have a right to be upset. You have a right to be mad, but it your right should not be looking at another woman and seeing what she got or what she don't got, and equating it to yourself. You could be the perfect. You could you could be the perfect woman with with your one adult son and your career. There's a thing when people be messing up at. I have a career. Yep. I'm this. I'm mm-hmm. that. It don't fucking matter to somebody who don't see none of that or appreciate none of that shit at all. Like none of that shit fucking matters at all. Your degrees and your education and your none job and your your salary and all that. Like none of that shit fucking matters to a mm-hmm. nigga who don't give a fuck at all. What is that? The perfect package, wrong address. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know. That the word. <laughs> Fucking word. But yeah, men men love that. Men a man will fuck a lawnmower that's warm enough. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you leave one. If it's more fun too. Yeah, if it's, yeah. You if, can ride it and everything. Put a red lace front on it and nigga gonna definitely try to sneak behind a, a lawnmower and stick it in just to see what he could do. So I'm not make some shake. Yeah, these these what? Go make some shake. I'll have to get some shake. Whoa. <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, nah. Good luck. Yeah, no, I definitely agree with everything you just said. All right, well. Don't be that girl. At all. But, you know, it's hurtful and it sucks. Give it give it next week and then you take the anger out on who it's supposed to be taking out on. <laughs> all right, love y'all. Um, If y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, don't hit us up this week. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get lost in the shuffle. Hit us up next <laughs> week, thanks, goddamn me. Thanks. And hear you podcast at hear you podcast, um, at gmail.com and hear you podcast on all social media platforms. Y'all can find me for now. On IG at Huda underscore Breezy, B R E E Z Y. And where can they find you at? And of course, you guys can find me on Instagram. That's Tana Taught You. That is T A N N A H Taught You. Mm. All right, bro. You ready to get up out of here? Very. <laughs> I know. We, we, we've we been stuttering all this whole episode, y'all. we tired. <laughs> Very. As always, shout out to everybody. We had fun. We'll talk to y'all next week. Bye. Bye.